Welcome back to Airsoft Taiwan. Today we're introducing a KWA product and it's the TT33. Now, this little pistol here is the pride of the Russian Army. Very cheap to make, but very reliable and high powers. Now, when they originally came up with the TT33, they probably borrowed a little bit of the 1911 technology and incorporated into this little pistol here and this is the design that they've come up with. Now, Airsoft Taiwan, we previously introduced another version of the TT33 from another company, and that was a CO2 powered pistol. This one here by KWA is actually a GBB. Some of the features of this weapon here, you can see on the far side of the weapon there's a little catch here, and if you just slide this off very easily, it'll pop right off, then you can, I'll put it back on just so I don't misplace it or lose it, but after you pop that off, then you can just slide out your uh, slide catch here and you can field strip your weapon. Our mag release is right here and the one thing you will really notice about the TT33 is there's no safe on it. There's no safety here and that is actually located right in our trigger. Now you can see at this point in time if I cock this weapon it would be ready to fire. But if I want to put it in a safe mode you just slide your trigger down like that so it's touching the base of the uh, trigger guard and it is in safe mode. To release it from safe mode, just touch it up and you're ready to go. We're gonna give this a test fire and find our FPS and uh, see how this weapon shoots. So, as you can see with this magazine, it's a little bit different mode than most of the GBB pistols. They're usually a double feed and hold quite a few BBs. This one is a single feed and will take 10. Slider magazine, and just here on our KWA box here, you'll notice that we have a little uh, sticker down here that says this KWA product is only licensed for Asia, Japan, and Taiwan. So if you are very interested in Russian cosplay and would like to get your hands on one of these weapons, it's going to be up to you to find your method and means to uh, get your hands on one. Our second product today is a WE product and it's the G19, copy of the Glock and WE has other Glock pistols that they make and one of them is the G17. The only difference being the G17 barrel will be a bit longer, this is a lot more compact. Now this, very similar to the Glocks, has all the same features, mag release here, it has your sights very visible on the top. And it has two safety features, one right on the trigger, we have an extra safe in here. And on the base, we have a full lock, which is very good for children or anybody else you don't want playing with the, playing with the pistol. That's in lock there, safe mode, and just slide it back, if I can get my finger in there. And there you go, it's ready to fire. We're going to test, test the FPS for this uh, G19 and see how she fires. So here you can see our magazine, double fed magazine. I'm going to test our FPS. And here we are with our final product today. Uh, AIM is a company which a lot of you may not have uh, heard of. It's been quite a while since they've released a new uh, weapon on the market, but this one, it's a pretty weapon. It's the SVD, the Russian made SVD. Now, this being the sniper rifle, uh, most of the features looks very similar to the real weapon. The big difference are the internals inside. Now, the internals inside are very different from the true weapon 
and if you are ever going to field strip this weapon, you're going to have to have your hex screwdriver with you to take it apart. Right here we have a little lever, it just drops down, we can remove the upper receiver here and then use our hex screwdriver inside. Other than that, this SVD looks very much like the true weapon. You'll see back here our stock and our hand guards are plastic and a lot of the accessories are the same as well. Right here we have a cheek guard, a cheek rest, very easy to remove. It has a little clasp here, drop it down, and if you do wish to take it off the weapon, you can do so. Up here, this is right now we are in safe. Oh, and drop down into semi-auto mode. Now here you'll see our charge handle and our charge handle with this weapon will lock into a rear position once you've expended all your rounds out of the magazine and this magazine here has a capacity of 20 rounds other than that comes with your sights front and rear beautiful looking sniper rifle we're going to do a quick fps test and uh, see how this weapon fires as well now as i mentioned this company is aim 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 top international this uh, new weapon of theirs, the gas blowback, you can buy this in three different versions. And as you saw originally, I was carrying the uh, desert version. There's also the black version and the OD version as well. And they're right here. We've got our magazine loaded up with uh, five or six rounds. We're going to test this SVD and see what our rate of fire is. One of the beauties of this weapon, though, is how light and easy to use it is. So. Let's take a look at it. 